I'm Stephen Scott Fawcett. Um, I'm proud to be a fellow of the Royal Geographical Society and um, over the past 35 years or so I've been engrossed in studying about uh, the whole adventure of polar exploration and in my research as has been the case for other people I keep coming across a particular character and uh, his name is Shackleton and I've been asked this uh, day to come along to the uh, Hazelmere Festival to talk about Sir Ernest Henry Shackleton. He's got lots of lots of honours at the end of his name, I can't remember most of them. Um, why is Shackleton important? Uh, because he is an example of the kind of archetypal Edwardian hero that I think a lot of us in this new generation have kind of forgotten. And you might say, so what? Well, I would say this, that we can learn a lot from people of yesteryear, not least those people who have made a major contribution to certain facets of life. And in particular, Shackleton is important for us to know about because he sets a standard of leadership, not just among men in his time, but among people. I mean, leadership is key. We talk about politics today a lot, don't we? We talk about wars and the fact that this is all down to leaders being greedy for this and that and the other. What is leadership? Well, I think Shackleton exemplifies the best of what leadership should really be. And this is being learnt now by captains of industry. Books are being written about it. And it's a big important in introduction to modern life, to know how to lead. And Shackleton, as I've said, is a great example of that. But also, I think it's very important. In his time, he was one of the original celebrities, if you like. We're living in a celebrity culture in this 21st century. Uh, many people despise this culture. But interestingly, it started in a rather good way. People like Shackleton and others in the polar world were celebrities and were models for people to follow, young people and old people. Then we moved on beyond the polar era to the world of aviation. And these aviators, after Shackleton, became celebrities and examples for us all of enterprise and courage. And then, would you believe, Hollywood came along. And we had the silent movies and then later on we had the colour movies, the colour uh, that, that enriched our lives. And even to this day you can turn on the television and what will you find? You'll find actors uh, extolling their virtues and being interviewed and entertaining. Shackleton began all that along with his contemporaries and it's a terribly interesting story to relate.